welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video welcome to another q a of this week but before starting the q a actually i want to talk about ios 26.1 beta 2 because that is the next big update we are expecting and i want to talk about what we can expect um definitely we are expecting more changes with the liquid glass we are expecting maybe clear icons with a color ui do you guys want clear icons with a color UI that will look amazing something like this on as you are you are looking at your display? They will look amazing but this is not confirmed by any means. But if it comes it will be really really great. Also there will be definitely more changes with the you know um inside UI enhancement all those stuff. But nothing is confirmed yet. But one thing that I do believe is confirmed that is maybe the release date. So it's been almost two weeks that 26.1 beta 1 came out and I think Apple is on a two week cycle and if they are on the two week cycle we can expect to see the iOS 46.1 beta 2 on this Monday on um 6th of October. So definitely I'm quite excited about this. Definitely I will be making video about this. So yeah make sure to subscribe to the channel. And next thing I want to talk about is definitely many new people are coming to the channel i really you know thank you want to thank you guys for you know getting to this channel subscribing to the channel and you know all that i love that how many people are supporting this channel so yeah thanks a lot for that and now i want to move to the youtube um studio app i want to see what you guys are talking about let's see your comments so starting with the very first one the best youtube about iphone thank you so much man thanks a lot um but definitely i'm not best i'm trying to improve myself i'm trying to you know help people with my content is the battery performance of ios 18 significantly better than ios 26 and the performance of the processor as well well i did compare ios 26 with the ios 18 like two three videos ago and if you watch the video you will get to know that both are pretty much same in performance both are pretty much same performance both are having good performance and in terms of battery life yes 18 is a bit better in battery life but there is no big difference being very honest with you i upgraded to the basic 15 a month before this update was released and my battery is actually great not sure if it's because the phone is new or i'm just not being affected but i'm loving this update that's great i am also enjoying this update on my even iphone 11 so yeah for some people it's a really really good update you know it also depends how you are charging your device it also depends how you are using your device many people plug in the charger and they while charging the device use their device and that is actually very bad for the battery life when will iphone 11 i was 18 percent point release 18 percent point is already out i already did a video about that so yeah i don't know where you are living go and check out the channel for me the battery life is better but idle drain is huge overnight it is consuming around four to six percent um your device is 15 pro max battery health is 88 percent four to six percent is not that huge at least five percent is completely normal because see there are a lot of stuff that is going in the background of your device your device is 15 pro max definitely it's up uh, maybe there is an ai going in the background a lot of stuff going in the background so it is normal like under 5% completely normal it is going above 10% that is very abnormal but if you still don't like this thing um, what you can do is you can turn on the low power mode like every single morning before going to bed turn on the low power mode also you can automate the low power mode if you want to I did a couple of videos how you can automate the low power mode you can do that and while you are sleeping low power mode will you know restrict more stuff and maybe you get a better battery life is there any way for me to get an okay so this is a new thing um recently i was looking into for the ipsw file for ios 18 and i wasn't able to find that that was like weird for me so let's see if there is ipsw file available or not this is actually weird for me too let me set up my device over here getting into the iphone this is a website from where you can get the ips double files let's see we are going for the iphone 15 pro max and if you see over here there are no files there is no ios 18.7 there is no ios 18.7.1 this is weird 
um i will look into this that if there is any way to get the file and i will get back to you but for now i don't think um there is any way to get it okay moving to the next one terrible battery life my gf has an iphone 11 pro and no battery drains from 100 to 0 like in about an hour oh my god that is too bad even though she doesn't touch the phone and on my 15 is too bad battery life drop from 98 to 93 after the update around 240 charging cycles okay let's address the first thing iphone 11 pro going 100 to 0 in an hour now there is few things you need to understand first of all it is 100 percent confirmed that the battery is not original that what i believe because if there is an original battery it is not possible i have iphone 10s the battery health is at 77 percent and that is also working fine so if there is an original battery by apple that will work fine no matter what but th definitely something is wrong with your gf um, device make sure to take it to service center and fix it it is not about the software it is something to do with the hardware and about you 98 to 93 percent after the update about around 240 charging cycles now that is bad now over here it is important for you to understand that which charger you are using and how you are charging if you are charging your device and using while charging that is bad for the battery if you are using a cheap charger that is also bad for your battery life so try to use good chargers try, try to use chargers that are certified by the apple also the data cables and never use your device while charging so it will definitely get improved stay on 18.6.1 on 15 pro max that's a advice if anyone wants to you know no iphone 16 okay this is some other thing and maybe translate to english on the iphone 16 there was no improvement my phone without touching anything already used eight percent of battery i went to watch one hour and 40 minute movie and it used 15 percent of battery on i was 18 i spent all day watching my series okay see this is normal i mean like you are watching one hour and 40 minute movie and consuming 15 percent is completely normal see when you're watching movie your display is on um your speakers are working everything is going on so it's a media and it is completely normal 15 percent for almost two hours that's completely normal definitely you might be getting a bit more in ios 18 ios 26 is a big update offering a lot of stuff so yeah there is a bit of difference but 15 percent is completely normal don't worry about it is it good um yeah i was 26.0.1 is a decent update i did lots of video go to my channel check out those videos 18.71 battery life oh, okay so so 18.1 battery life is better compared to 18.71 it was better honestly when i did this video 18.7 seems better but i did another video yesterday of 18.7.1 a follow-up video go and check out that video 18.7.1 is getting better it seems a much better update now after using it for a couple of days i'm not having any problem with the ios 26.1 i haven't since i got it from first that is great for me it is also working perfectly fine iphone 15 pro max um i was 17.3.1 battery health 86 percent. i have now i know 61 percent battery left and my screen time six for so uh, oh yeah maybe you don't need to update your already you know 61 percent battery life that is bad like on 15 pro max how much you are using a device can you check for the battery idle drain on the fifth iphone 20 there's a lot of idle battery drain even on the ipad air but iphone xr seems to be doing great on this update but not ipad and iphone 13 okay i will look into it and i will let you guys know i don't work work car play okay 26 was best iphone 13 done upgrade i was only 6.10.1 is not out 20 uh, maybe he meant 26.0.1 that's great for you i don't think that has everything to do anything to do with i was um version i think it's just a phone that's so old iphone that is all okay he's talking about a lag that i talk about it in the video okay so yeah this these were all of your comments from this week what are your opinion about this how things are going on for you this week um so far this week let me the comment section below starting uh tomorrow we are expecting ios 26.1 
beta 2 will be there any other stable updates like 88.7.2 or 26.0.2 i will be talking about those videos in upcoming weeks but yeah that's all from this video and hope to catch you guys in my next video until then take care peace out